Hi, this is Mike Marston. What we're going to do today is look at how you can reduce your engineering time when you're doing your graphics. So if you look here, what you've got is a folder with three objects. And what we're going to do is show you how you can easily copy and paste these and reuse them. So we link the objects together. And then what we'll do is put in a set point of, say, 50. So once we've done that, put the setting in. Now go to the graphic itself. We've got a blank page. I've called it VAV1. So let's add a duck, and we can also add a ramp from the temperature object, and set that between 0 to 100 just for this exercise. So what we do next is we then link that to, say, a damper object. So we bring that in. You will see the damper appear. And then we do the same with the other one. You see fan. It's going to be a Boolean. So we want that to switch, say, a fan. So nothing new here, just um, going through some of the old stuff. Where this gets interesting is when you want to duplicate and have it all renumbered the way you like it. So that's it. Next, what we'll do is um, put the set point on the graphic. So just drag that across. And what we'll do is call that a label. So select the label. And then what we do is we want to change the text that we see. So we type in set point and the correct syntax so that we get it displayed properly on the HTML5 graphic. So just make that a little bit bigger, make it all line up, do a deploy. And we'll just update the XML file. And we now do a preview, have a look. As you can see, nothing special. Not so sure about the fan being the right way around. Um, and we got the set point. So we go back to the graphic now in the engineering tool. And if we were to select everything in there, by the way, there is an icon where you can do that. All of these objects are designated as under VAV1. So all we need to do is um, just give them a name. And, um, you know, after we've tried to drag them into the user library. And as you can see, we have a choice of where we reference the... Have a look at the default setting where it says... Um, no binding path. If you were to select that, you would actually not see, you'd have to remake all the links. If you select the AV1, then we can preserve all those links. So by doing this, this is our equivalent of a relative binding. So the next step is we go back to our logic, and let's just copy and paste the AV1, so we've got two, three, and four. And then we can start to do the same. In the graphics now, we now create a new slide, and let's call this VAV2. And if you look above it in the logic, you'll see there's a, a folder called VAV2. So all the logic in there, we want to be referenced into the graphic for the VAV. So what makes this pretty cool is now drag in what we saved before into the VAV2 graphic and reference it to the logic of VAV2. Just like that, quite simple. So let me just tidy up the Z orders there. I didn't have the Z orders quite right in some of those others. Just get that tidied up, just a slight error. And if you click, just hover your mouse over the set point, you will see now it is referenced to the AV2, which is great. That's going to save us an awful lot of time. So that's that done. What we do next is to save that and create another graphic, and this time we're going to create the AV3. And we're going to repeat this exercise. So same way, blank canvas, pull in the VAV, and reference it to VAV3. Now you can see, just tidy up the Z orders again, and now you can see everything is relativized um, to the, um, the correct place. So actually what you could do now is actually have two of those on the same page if you wanted. So even on the same graphic, I can do some um, relativization um, just by pointing it to the net, copying it and pointing it this case for the VAV4. So it really doesn't, doesn't have to be a page. You can actually have multiple relativization on one page. Now we'll just hover the mouse across some of the widgets in there, and you will see what we're getting is the top one is um, VAV3, and the bottom one is VAV4, which is just what